Hello everyone, uh, I'm Leila. I'm going to show you how we can use the available charts, the current charts that we have in our studio that you know they are really nice. Some of them is really nice, and how we can make them make them more interactive in Power BI. So to start, I just want to show you a data set that I have that is about the California dairy product that you can find in our studio or package there. You see that there is information about cottage cheese production, ice cream, and milk, and in different months and year. So, and also there is a pairwise comparison that you see here. So if I run it again, so you see that how the comparison between these three products happen here. So between the ice cream and milk happen here between cottage cheese and ice cream happen here and also you can see the between the uh, cottage cheese ice cream also happen here so we want to get a report about these ones and also we are going to see that how it happened in power bi so to do that i just copy the data from here and just go through the this and yep so you see that we have a R script visual here. So I'm just click on that and you see that the R editor happen uh, show up here. So if I uh, before that, be careful that you in the option and setting you already set the R scripting to the you already have these G25 R scripting because it help us actually to become more interactive and use the R version, the correct R version. So here, this is the uh, California data data. I changed the column name because I want to much more easier to write here. So, and this is the data that I have. So A, I want to look at the data about column A, that's the cottage cheese, the milk production. That is column D, and also you see that the data set already uh, is stored in data set column. So I change it to the data set. Okay, so if I run it, it should be okay. Or oh, maybe I made a mistake. Uh, yep, there is no. Yes, here I made a mistake here, so it should work now. Yep. So you can see the data here. So if I want to have a look at at the different month, so you see that I'm choose the month as a slicer. Now you can see that how's the report happen here. Another possibility. So in another page, I still want to look at the correlation between the these two. Oh, sorry. So I'm just. Uh, have the R script and I'm said that I need these columns here and I'm going to use another R code to look at the correlation between these two data so I'm just copy from here and yep okay so I may make mistake in here and this one so if i run the code yeah so you see that it shows the correlation between the different products that we have so a is actually stand for cottages so you see that how's the their, their production is the same so if the production of the cottage is increased for the ice cream also increase and you see that they have very close relationship to each other but for example for the a and d is kindly minus but still they are close so yep this is a information here so for example if you're interested to look at it as a different months so it shows the correlation between the these production in different months and also if you for example want to look at at the year also for example in 2013 oh there's a mistake here so sometimes there is a no data, so it make it hard. But for some parts that there is a data, it shows very correctly. 
So yep, this is all about the R and awesome visualization in Power BI. I hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you.